Hey paper lovers, Josephine here and welcome by my first YouTube video for the Hip Kid Club. Um, in this video I made a 12 by 12 inch layout using the sketch and the February main kit. Um, I wanted to make a banner for this scrapbook page. Uh, I already draw the banner on some design paper from the main kit and I cut it out with my scissors. Uh, here I'm using my sewing machine to stitch the borders um, of this banner and also stitch some elements that I wanted to use on this scrapbook page. So now we start, uh, first we start with the white cardstock and some design paper. Both I cut already on size and using my edge shape tape and some taggy glue to put my uh, cardstock on top of the design paper. And then we're going to make the banner that I all I want to make for this scrapbook page. And um, I'm using a photo for me and my daughter make, that I made with Snapchat. Uh, I want to make an Easter uh, layout. And I love the bunny ears from Snapchat. Uh, this I choose the bunny ears for this cute uh, photo from the two of us. Here um, I grab a straw that uh, from my stash and uh, that I want to use for this banner and uh, I tape the insides uh, with double side shave tape so my straw can fall out. I crop some too and um, and using some sequins from the June kit last year and uh, I just because I decided to make a shaker from two and sequins uh, on this banner so um, here I'm using my double edge shave tape and I'm wrapping uh, my banner in with a two and uh, when I'm done I feel the the banner shaker banner with uh, some sequins and put it on top of the big shaker that I already made. I finished making the banner uh, with the field uh, with the sequence and I'm puzzling a bit with the layers uh, I want to use behind the photo and some die cuts. I've already cut the cards and design papers on size and using my sewing machine to stitch some uh, to make some stitching on the cards. Um, it's now a matter of putting them in the in the right order. I hesitate for a moment as which photo I wanted to use and choose the last option uh, so you can see more of the banner and the sequence that I uh, that I made uh, and uh, it's also more in balance. Uh, I cut some design, uh, circles out from the design paper using some metal dies and decorating around my banner. 
here I choose some extra paper die cuts from the kit for more decoration and I love those uh, circle chipboard elements in the kit and I use two of them uh, to decorate this page. Here I am using some branches and twigs that I cut out with uh, a metal die and I cut it out from vellum and some white cardstock and I slide them in between uh, the die cuts uh, on this triple page uh, for more decoration. I take some vellum and cut it to size, put it behind the photo and that gives your work on your photo a nice look through. So now it's time to tape everything to each other and I'm using my edge shave, uh, double side edge shave tape for that. And after this video I decided to use a frame in my work uh, so you don't see this in this, in this video. But on the photos you will see a frame that I use from the embellishment kit from the um, February Hip Kit Club. So my banner is in place and here I start decorating the page further with the die cuts. I love the die cuts and all the other elements in these kits. Uh, these kits from the Hip Kit Club are uh, so filled with beautiful uh, uh, papers, uh, die cuts and elements. So it's very easy to decorate your swivel pages with these beautiful kits. Um, here I rub the edges from the circles with a distress etcher tool and um, I do that because I like the, um, the distress look that I made with this distress etcher and I'm using some 3D foam to put the circles around my banner. Here I poke a hole in my scrapbook page um, because I wanted to look just like the banner is hanging um, on the scrapbook page. So I use some floss and a brush for that.
here I starting with the title I'm using two alphas first I start with the pink fresh alpha the light blue one from the February kit and I use the black alphabet from the December kit uh, for the word cute so I use two alphas for this title and um, I crawl a little bit uh, the paper up for more dimension uh, on the scrapbook page and then um, I use some distress oxide the color that I use is worn lipstick and I only added some splatters so I mix some ink with some water and with my brush and make some splatters and I also do this with the white gesso and I love making splatters on my scrapbook page because um, it looks very festive and um, I, I like ink on my layout so not mixed media for now just added some splatters And when my ink splatters and gesso splatters are dry, I put my uh, scrapbook page again under the sewing machine to stitch the borders. And here I ruffle the edges from a design paper stroke that I cut on size and put it um, on the sides of this um, scrapbook page. And sew it again with my sewing machine. Um, I decided the, I decided that uh, I would change the cluster under the photo um that i do here so sometimes you you think that you want to change something on your layout and i wanted to change uh, this cluster under this layout uh, i added some enamel dots on my scrapbook page and a tissel that i made from uh, yarn and here i'm using my sewing machine to stitch a little bit uh, through the design paper stroke and the stitching was the last part and i hope you enjoyed this video i had a lot of fun making this video for you and let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to visit the blog and the facebook group for more beautiful inspiration and projects for today this was josephine for hipkit club and i hope to see you next time for now wish you a lovely day bye bye